Hello biology class. Welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson three of the excretion unit. As you can see, it's titled kidneys. Uh, essentially, we're going to talk about at like a microscopic level, what happens within the kidneys. We've talked about the urinary system and lots of different parts of the kidneys already. So I'm going to refer to those. We're going to do a quick recap, but I think you guys uh, should have a pretty good understanding of the different parts of the kidney, uh, but how does the blood actually filter through the kidney? How does it separate it uh, into blood and urine and then get rid of it? That's what we're gonna talk about in this lesson. So, quick recap of a picture of the kidney here. Uh, we have the renal artery, blood flows in through the renal artery and goes and branches off a whole bunch of times into the cortex of the kidney. That is where filtration starts. You can't really see it, but uh, there are tubules that go into here, the medulla, and come back out again. Um, that is where a lot of the balancing of the filtration happens. Too much water, too much sodium, too much potassium, all that good stuff uh, goes back and forth in there. The blood then leaves the kidney through the renal vein, and the urine is collected in the renal pelvis and sent down the ureter. So that is a quick recap of the parts, but how does it actually filter it? That is the key. So the kidney, the kidney are two bean-shaped organs in the renal system. They help the body pass waste as urine. The kidney performs many crucial functions. As we've talked about, it maintains overall fluid, fluid balance, saving water or getting rid of it. It regulates, um, regulates and filters minerals from the blood, it filters waste material like uh, the waste from food and medications and toxic substances that you ingest filters those out and final job that it has is to create hormones that produce red blood cells uh, that help produce red blood cells promote bone growth and regulate your blood pressure so there's lots of different functions here we've talked about quite a few of them the kidney is the site of filtration for your blood and there is a very complex process that occurs to make sure we do not lose too much water or too many minerals. The filtration system uh, is called the nephron. So that is key point one, the nephron. There are millions of nephrons in each kidney. So the kidney has just an absolute ton of nephrons and they are very, very, very tiny. Uh, some important parts, Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus, that's key point two. We've got key point three, the loop of Henle, uh, and then proximal and distal tubules, as well as the renal pelvis, which is key point four. So um, some important parts that we're going to talk about. First, the nephron. You might recognize this picture. We have a picture of it in our classroom, and I've talked a little bit about it before. But this whole thing is known as the nephron. So the nephron is a unit of filtration. You can imagine that there are millions of these in your kidney. Uh, stacked up all against each other so that you can filter a huge amount of blood. Each one filters a tiny, tiny amount of blood. So blood flows in from the renal artery and branches off a whole ton of times and gets into the, um, the cortex. And that's where the glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule are. So Bowman's capsule is this kind of holder. I like to think of it as like this part. And then the glomerulus is the part that fits into it. So the glomerulus is a collection of uh, blood vessels um, that blood flows into, and the, uh, the Bowman's capsule goes around it. And that is where kind of filtration starts. Um, blood will then flow uh, out through that uh, arteriole right here. I was gonna point on my screen, but that's not gonna help you. It flows out through here. Um, and then will eventually turn into a branch of the renal vein. So um, blood, certain things get forced out through the Bowman's capsule and certain parts like red blood cells should not get forced out through there. So they flow down this way. So this whole thing is the nephron. Bowman's capsule. Uh, Blood first flows into the cortex of the kidney where Bowman's capsule is located. So this part right up here is located in the cortex. It covers the glomerulus. Again, the glomerulus is the collection of blood vessels where there is a lot of pressure. So it is very close to the heart. It comes right off of your aorta. So there's a lot of pressure. And because of that pressure, it pushes part of your blood 
through Bowman's capsule. So Bowman, Bowman's capsule is the coffee filter. It is the thing that filters your blood at a very microscopic level the first time around. So some stuff like lots of liquids, minerals, the plasma go into or through Bowman's capsule into the next stage. And that next stage is the proximal tubule. So that is this tubule right here that is all twisted up, but you can see it goes down in this loop right here. So we have the cortex up here where uh, the glomularis and Bowman's capsule is located. And then we have the proximal tubule and that tubule goes down into the medulla. Now, some of it goes uh, into the, this part, some of it goes even farther into the inner medulla. Uh, depends where the, each nephron is located as some of them would be located down here. There are millions and millions and millions of them again. So this part, the medulla, is where all the filtration back and forth happens. Like, oh, I put too much water into the tubule. I need to take some back into the blood. Oh, I didn't put enough um, sodium into the tubule. I'm going to push more into there that way. That's where this balancing act happens, is all the way through the medulla. So in Bowman's capsule, larger molecules like proteins, blood cells, and hormones, they stay in the blood vessel. We do not want blood cells going into our urine. When that happens, that is a problem. If there is blood in the urine, uh, that is an issue that is that you're probably going to need a doctor for. So it is a very big deal that the Bowman's capsule does not allow large molecules, proteins, blood cells, and hormones through it. Um, the filtrate, which is the liquid and all the small stuff, along with urea, which is what we're really trying to get rid of, flows through the proximal tubule uh, into the loop of Henle. So the proximal tubule here, and then we have the loop of Henle. The loop of Henle, again, is located in the medulla. The loop of Henle is the part of the nephron that dips towards the center of the kidney. It makes up the renal medulla or the renal pyramid where lots of stuff is passed back and forth. So uh, the filtrate or what is, it's not quite considered your urine, but will, what will become your urine flows down this loop and then back up. So it goes into the medulla and then back up out of the medulla. And that's why we've kind of shown lines in the pyramid and why the top is a lot larger than the bottom because the nephrons are located in the cortex. So the one, only ones that are in the low part of the cortex extend down into the middle of the kidney. So that's why they're smaller. The loop of Henle, again, this is this part right here. Um, as the filtrate flows down the loop of Henle and back up towards the cortex, it is surrounded by capillaries. And these capillaries are there to help balance water, water and minerals, potassium, sodium, uh, all the stuff that you need every day for life, making your muscles fire and twitch uh, so that you can move. All this stuff is filtered back and forth in this loop of Henle part. So the loop of Henle um, is the main site of balancing of all your stuff. The filtrate flows from the loop of Henle into the distal tubule. So the distal tubule would begin up here and then it flows um, into the distal tube uh, or a collecting duct, I should say, that goes towards the renal pelvis. So the filtrate goes into the distal tubule um, where it continues to be drawn um, out towards the collecting part. We then have the collecting duct so that is this part here. You can see that there are lots of nephrons that would empty into it through all these smaller ducts into this main duct. The distal tubule empties into a collecting duct uh, and the duct uh, collects filtrates from many different nephrons. Once it gets to this point, we can essentially consider it urine. Uh, there's no more back and forth. There's no more um, time where your body can filter important stuff back into the blood. It is just gone. It is going out of your body now. Urine is directed to the renal pelvis where it is collected and sent down the ureter to the bladder as we've talked about already. So as a little recap, blood flows into the glomularis where it is surrounded by Bowman's capsule and it is filtered with Bowman's capsule in the proximal tubule. It then flows down the loop of Henle into the medulla where there's lots of passing back and forth of water and minerals. It then flows back up into the cortex 
where there's the distal tubule and it is connected into a collecting duct which collects the urine. The filtered blood will then flow into the renal vein and back towards the heart. So the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis is the funnel shaped space in the innermost part of the kidney and it functions as a pathway for fluid on its way to the bladder. So uh, we have a few more terms that are involved in the renal pelvis. Uh, there is the calyx or the calyces. So calyx is one and calyces is plural. It is the first part of the renal pelvis that contains the calyces. These are small cup-shaped spaces that collect fluid before it moves to the bladder. So you can see that these tiny parts here are what are considered the calyces. There are the major calyx, which are larger portions, and then there's the minor calyx, which are the tiny portions before we truly get to the renal pelvis. You can also see here the renal hilus, that is these portions here. Uh, the hilum or the renal hilus is a small opening located on the inner edge of the kidney where it curves inwards to, uh, create, the cre to create the distinct bean-like shape. The renal pelvis um, passes through um, it as well as the ureter. So these portions here where it folds in, it needs to kind of seal it off. So the ureter and the renal pelvis uh, moves through the renal hilus, which are these two walls right here, the edges of the bean-shaped kidney. So the ureter, again, is a tube uh, that collects urine and directs it into the bladder where it will eventually be collected in, uh, from both kidneys and excreted um, through the body. I'd like you to do a little bit of research on kidney stones. Um, I saw it, I think, in the very first one of the very first pictures I showed you, I made a little mistake and I put a picture of kidney stones in there. So I'd like you to do a little bit of research on those, what causes of those, how they can be fixed, and how painful they are. Ask Joey from Friends. Okay, thanks very much for watching everyone. I appreciate it and I will see you soon. Thanks so much.